Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am excited to share a significant milestone in my journey with you all. I recently became Google Cloud Associate Certified. So I'm happy to share my certification with you all of you. So first of all, those who are new here, my name is Tanish and on this channel, till now I have shared my experiences on a different journal like travel and uh, other stuff. But today is the first time I'm going to talk about my experience in Techside and the certification which I obtained and the career opportunities involved in this industry. So first, let me talk about why I pursued this certification. So as you know, like cloud, cloud computing. So most of the application in all the organization are like running in the cloud side. So, and with the rapid growth of this cloud computing, GCP, this Google Cloud a platform has emerged a major player in this industry. And actually by obtaining this certification, I, I tried to validate myself, my understanding into the core GCP concepts and also to enhance my skills and uh, to improve and like to look for more career opportunities in the cloud related roles. So, so we'll talk about the preparation process. So I would say preparing for this big certification was like, for me, it was like an, quite an enriching experiences. And uh, I spent several weeks diving deep into this GCP core concept and understanding the functionalities and um, like uh, getting the real time scenarios examples through the hands-on labs. So when you do the certification, there'll be a lot of labs that you have to do. And actually those labs will be like, it will give you the confidence like um, how it is actually working in the real time, um, like in the organization, most of the applications, how it is actually running on the cloud storage part. So uh, in this video today, I'm going to talk about what are the learning materials that I have followed and how you can also prepare uh, the same and um, how you can register for the exam, how you can book the exam center. So everything, all the process that is involved here and I'll be sharing all these details with all of you. So um, for me, this certification was uh, my company sponsored and uh, I think uh, uh, this is the time most of the organizations, they, they have sponsored uh, like different cloud uh, related um, certifications like GCP, AWS, Microsoft. So I think this is the right opportunity. This is the right time also. You can grab this opportunity and you can also uh, be certified with similar kind of certifications. So whatever that you can opt for. And uh, like now talking about the exams. So exams was like, I mean, I would say like um, it was kind of difficult. And uh, like this, the exam consists of 50 multiple choice questions and um, like all the multiple um, Including that, there were some uh, practical scenarios like when you have done the uh, hand, hands-on lab. So in that case, like you can apply your uh, concept, like whatever the core concept that you have learned. So those knowledge that you can apply while um, selecting the correct options. So there are a lot of online uh, courses are available. So many uh, even documentations will be available for you. So, but uh, for me, like I did not follow a lot of things because obviously it is going to take a lot of time and while working in the company also, it, it is a kind of like uh, you have to take time. At least uh, I spent a minimum two to three hours every day uh, for uh, while doing the courses and all. And even uh, the most important thing I would say about the practice exam. So practice test was available. And uh, like um, for me, I have followed uh, like the Udemy platform. So there like you can see like the, there will be like updated practice test set will be available and it will be like consisting of total um, six set and each set will be consisting of 50 multiple choice questions. So like, uh, uh, so definitely you have to try that because it will give you the real time um, how the exam will be like, it will give you that similar kind of uh, experiences. So taking the courses, definitely it is required, but it is must to take the practice exam before uh, appearing for the exam. So let's start, let me tell you, and let me show you how you can uh, do that, uh, how you can start for this certification. So first of all, you have to launch uh, cloudskillsboost.google. And after launching this website, you will see the homepage of the Google Cloud Skills Boost. Here you will see different kind of certification which is uh, available, ho av available here. 
and you can select whatever the certification that you that you want to opt for so today we are talking about the google cloud associate certified so we'll be selecting that certification and uh, this is the one uh, google engineer uh, the cloud engineer learning path so click on that uh, certification and then you will land to the home page of the learning path so here you will see there are total 13 activities which are available so all these 13 activities are actually the courses and every course will consist of video lectures and uh, the labs quizzes so everything you have to complete so i would say like not all the courses are interdependent but you have you can follow the the way that it is mentioned over here so you can see i have just opened one course and there, there you can see like what are the contents are available and how many videos and labs will be available so you can take up these courses at your own time and um, but try to spend minimum two to three hours every day to understand the uh, concept so until course nine there will be like kind of all these similar video lectures labs everything will be available and all the labs will be having a kind of uh, uh, the guides will be like um, there will be some steps which will be mentioned and you have to follow those steps but the last four courses like from course 10 to course 13 these courses will be having only labs so here it it is like uh, you are going to test your skills that whatever that you have learned so far you can see there are only labs which is available so until the last lab like only except the last lab which is called the challenge lab so for that particular lab there, there won't be any predefined step there won't be any kind of uh, scripts will be available that you have to follow it is like totally based on your skills whatever uh, that you have learned so you have to apply and you have to complete this challenge lab and this is mandatory before going to the uh, before appearing for the exam so um, i mean there are online helps uh, help will be available you can uh, take that help but make sure you are understanding it because it will be like kind of different it's the same, same scenarios will be same but uh, you have to modify according uh, based on the requirement what it is asking for so that way you can complete all the there will be four challenge lab course 10 11 12 and 13 so four challenge lab you have to complete along with all the labs and videos and the quizzes once you are done with the learning path then you have to log in into the web assessor portal so if you are appearing for this google cloud certification for the first time you have to create your profile in this web assessor portal which is powered by criterion so you can click on the create new account button which is like coming at the top right section and but if you have already registered you can just directly log in and password you can provide your login details so click on the create new account and there you have to provide uh, the login id and password so make sure you remember the your login id and password because you have to uh, log in with the same details and uh, you provide uh, the all the details like make sure you provide first name and last name which is uh, sh should match with your government id proof because before appearing for the exam uh, the invigilator will verify all this uh, details from your government id proof so since i have already registered in this portal so i'll be logging in uh, with the with my credentials so after login in you will be navigated to the uh, the home page for this web assessor portal and here uh, you will see like the button register for an exam so before clicking on that make sure you review the retake policy and the recertification eligibility criteria before registering for an exam so click on the register for an exam and ne the, the next you will be navigated to the list of google cloud certifications which will be provided by google cloud here you can see there are a lot of certifications uh, the cloud digital leader associate cloud engineer professional cloud engineer or whatever that the certification that you are going for you have to select from here so uh, for every certification there will be two mode of uh, either two mode of cert, uh, like the exam criteria so if you click on that uh, the plus icon so you will be seeing like one is uh, remote proctored and the second is uh, on-site proctored here you will see so on-site proctor is like uh, you have to visit to the exam center and uh, you have to take the exam over there and the remote proctor is like it can be done at your home and based on your convenient time so but before that there will be some softwares will be pre-installed by uh, the uh, google team itself and um, all the necessary things will be done before taking the exam if you are opting for the remote proctored 
but my suggestion will be like go for the online uh, proctored because uh, if in in case if you are appearing for uh, for the exam from at your home and if if it is like if there is any network issue so you might end up like um, um, maybe the certification will get maybe the exam will get abrupted so in that case be better to go for the on site proctored so here you will see uh, so for me i as i already told this was like company sponsored so but if you are uh, like doing it by your own so you can see the amount here like uh, what is the amount um, so for this google cloud associate certify as uh, this certification this is like 125 dollar which is approximately like 10000 plus um, inr so uh, since i have already done the certification that's the reason i'm not getting that link but i am just trying to show it with the different certification so select that on site or a remote one based on your convenience and the next step you'll be like you have to select the uh, for like if you have selected the online uh, on site uh, proctored then you have to select the center so based on your country your state just select uh, from the list which is available and which is convenient and uh, which is nearby your location so select the option and uh, once you select this then you'll be navigated to the um the date and the time that you have to select so which date and uh, what is the time slot that you have selected so all those details that you can select here and make sure um you submit the details and um, just uh, go through all the pro process the policy and all before submitting it and then uh, submit it so once you submit this uh, you'll be getting a mail verification and uh, that email is important because in that email it will uh, it will be like um, your name details your time slot and the most important thing is the authorization key will be there so that key is required uh, when you uh, visit the exam center now coming to the practice test which i which i have mentioned before which is like gcp uh, google associate cloud engineer practice test exam this is from the uremi which i have purchased this uh, this one and uh, as like i have mentioned before there were like total of six practice tests that will be available and every practice test uh, will be having a 50 questions except the bonus one so uh, and this is uh, this is given by siam so i think uh, this is actually simulate this will actually simulate the exam very precisely and the best thing is like the explanations that comes with all the questions were, were like very precise so uh, so i even i practiced like i like i've opened all this practice test and you can see like the number of attempts which i have also attempted so even first time also i have scored less than 30% so uh don't give up even if you score less initially during these practice test so this is just temporary so i would say like try to keep pushing and building your concept and also like don't try to memorize the questions because uh, not all the questions will be coming as same i i can say like hardly 10% will be same but uh, if you try to understand the concept behind that question then i think it will be important because once you understand the concept you will be confidently be able to answer all any out of the box um, questions correctly so try to practice these the, these practice tests as many times as possible once you are like confident enough like you have scored enough then i would um, definitely say that you will be able to crack the exam as well so i'm just trying to show you one of the uh, format like this is this these are the kind of questions that it will be having and you can see the explanation which is given over here like for all the options why it is correct or incorrect like that you can go through that uh, uh, the explanation so you will understand the concept behind it and then if, even if the question comes similar to like this you should be able to clear it also so this is the one i would uh, recommend like uh, before appearing for the exam just try to practice this one and make sure you are purchasing the latest one so if you, if you uh, if you are opting for this one so whatever the uh, descriptions or links are available um, i'll be mentioning all those description in the description box so you can check that uh, for all the details So yeah, uh, so I would say throughout this journey, I gained valuable insight into the cloud uh, computing architectures, networking, security, and uh, data storage on the Google Cloud platform. So definitely, it's going to be really helpful for your uh, career goals as well. Like it will open up uh, new career opportunities, and even you can also contribute to more innovative projects. 
so this is all about the google cloud uh, associate certifications so uh, so first of so thank you so much for joining me um, on this journey and if you are considering pursuing uh, this certification and if you have or if you have any questions about my experience please please feel free to drop them in the comments below and please like share and subscribe to my channel for more contents so until next time happy cloud computing and thanks for watching bye bye